Good evening. Uh, we are back. We're doing the burn in. Can you see that? Yeah, sorry, yeah. Uh, sorry for the bad lighting. Uh, I had this in the middle of the garage where I usually cook, and uh, I got smoked out pretty quick when it first started burning up. But uh, yeah, I'm just doing the initial burning right now. Uh, about an hour and a half in, I'll go for an hour and a half, an hour. And then I'm hoping I'm, we're going to cook on this tonight. So I'll just quick show you the uh, firebox. I've got a bunch of coals in there. I think I filled it up quite a bit too much. So, yeah, lessons learned. This is the first time I'm using one of these grills. So, yeah. Uh, that's about all I got. Like I said, another half hour to go on the initial burn-in. And, uh, yeah, I will pick back up in the kitchen and show you what I have for dinner. <laughs> all right, we're back. And, oh, my Lantis. We look at what we got in front of us. Uh, kind of a big piece of fat there, but this is a nice, probably this has got to be about two pound uh, tomahawk ribeye. Yeah, we're doing ribeye two nights in a row. Uh, I went to Sam's Club uh, earlier today. I had to go there anyways, uh, to Mankato, I mean. And uh, looking at steaks, I was like, yeah, I mean, ribeyes look really good. And I was like, yeah, whatever. And I kept on looking and I was like, what in the heck are those? So, yeah, I got a two pack of these. Uh, they were in total like 4.7 pounds. So this has got to be on the heavier side of two pounds um, Yeah, we're doing this. We're gonna do this on a baked potato. Uh, we're gonna do it reverse sear style on the the Oklahoma Joe's Longhorn So uh, stay tuned and I'll show you how I get the steak ready. Okay, so we are back um, I'm gonna show you what I'm using for seasoning tonight. Don't mind the dogs wrestling in the background. I'm gonna try some new stuff. This is the uh, Texas Smokehouse Beef Rub uh, I already loaded this down, or covered it in olive oil, so I'm just going to give it a good liberal coat of this rub. Kind of press her in, and uh, I'm actually going to let this sit uh, probably for about 30 minutes. Uh, kind of just let it, try to let the meat re-soak up the salt, let the moisture come out. So yeah, I will, uh, actually, I'm actually going to bring it back downstairs here in a minute, and I'm going to re, I'm going to show you how I got the fire pot set up, or uh, the side box set up for the smoke tonight. We'll see in a little bit. All right, we're back. I said I'd show you the setup I got in the fire box or in the side box. Uh, what I ended up doing is I pulled out the, the square piece and uh, I just put a little, I probably took three, four shovel scoops of the hot burnt coals. And I just went ahead and put, I know you can't see it, but I went and put uh, two nice looking like quartered up logs of hickory on it. Let that burn. And uh, I also put the steak on already. Can't see that either because it's smoking a bit much. Uh, I'm new at this, uh, this whole style of grilling. Uh, from the research I did, I know the, you're not wanting the thick smoke. You're wanting like a clear, thin, blue smoke. Uh, what does that see how it turns out? But when I, you know, you know I have the Primo XL, and uh, to me, like when it's coming out thick like this on that Primo, it makes for better food for me. So I'll just have to wait and see. And uh, yeah, probably going to let this cook to about an internal of probably about 120, and then I'm going to sear it on the in the firebox so uh i'll probably pick back up when it hits 120. <laughs> all right let's get a quick talk this is the steak i'm not cooking but uh you just cannot whoops sorry let's get that a little better you just cannot pass up a tomahawk steak when it looks like you could literally knock somebody out with this thing like they are massive so <laughs> yeah i just thought i'd show you the the steaks i'm cooking again uh this one i'm obviously not cooking so I don't know, just excited to cook this nice piece of meat. So, uh, yeah, to cook up in a little bit. Okay, we are about one hour into the cook. I uh, just figured to give you a quick peek. Uh, like I said, I don't know if you'll be able to see it because of all the smoke. But there's a ribeye. I threw some potatoes on there. Before I put the potatoes on, I microwaved them until they're about all the way done. And then I threw like a quarter stick of butter in with them. So, yeah, we turn on that tomahawk, that nice tomahawk steak. Is that about... 106 right now like i said i'm gonna i'm gonna pull it off that chamber at about 120 so i will uh pick back up then because i'm gonna sear it in that side box so i'll pick back up in a little bit all right so uh the steak is at whoops sorry for repositioning there the steak is at about 120 degrees i'm gonna go ahead and pull it off oh my Oh my Lantus, will you look at that? That looks nice and pretty. Give this a quick little mix up here. Looks good. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I just threw some uh, charcoal into the burn box over here. I'll give you a quick look. 
Yes, I will. Yeah, here's a quick look. Put the grill grates on there, and that's where I'm going to sear it off. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to let that come up to temp, and uh, I will pick back up and put the ribeye back on. <laughs> All right, uh, we're about to put it back on the, uh, you know, the side box. But before I do that, got some melted butter here with a little bit of seasoning in it. I'm just going to go ahead and pour the melted butter on the steak. I'm not going to wipe it or anything. I'm just going to, I might as well pour it all on. And, uh, yeah, I will, uh, <laughs> first I'm trying this way, but I will pick it up when I'm at the grill. Our smoker. All right, just put the Tom Hawk on. There it is. I'm going to let that go for about, oh, about a minute and a half. And I will, uh, yeah, I'll pick back in one more time. Or maybe a couple more times. Stay tuned, but I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, we're about two minutes in. All I'm gonna do, I have to just pick this up in my hand. I'm just gonna pick it up. Oh, this thing is heavy. And turn it like that. Let it go, fry for another minute and a half, two minutes, and uh, I will pick back up. Okay, we are back. One of our two minutes have gone by. Let's see if we can flip this guy, huh? Oh yeah, look at that. Nice sear marks, doing good. Let that go, probably for another two minutes, I'm gonna flip it, but uh, I'm not gonna show you this again, so I will pick back up one more time in the kitchen when it's time to eat. All right, we're back, uh, dinner is served. Uh, <laughs> you can see we got the uh, tomahawk, just, yeah, full of juices, dripping. And uh, we got some potatoes, uh, yeah. Got nothing else to say. Uh, I the reverse sear on the uh, Oklahoma Joe's Highland Edition is gonna work out great. I'm gonna go ahead and eat, and uh, you guys have a good night. So uh, we'll see you later. Maybe, just maybe, there will be a after the meal talk. I don't know yet. So check you later. Well. There's no Q&A here. There's no after the meal talk. One thumbs up. Wait. Two thumbs up. Have a good night.